hi guys and welcome back to my channel welcome back if you've already been here and hi if you're new i hope you stick around so in today's video i'm gonna be doing something that i absolutely love doing i'm gonna be going hygiene shopping but i'm gonna stay under a budget of around 1k that's literally all i want to spend because i have so many self-care products at home that i've not used yet so i'm just only going up to pick up a few essentials that i need and you're gonna be coming along with me Things, all the places i hope it means that you come home so the first place i'm gonna head into is clicks i absolutely love coming to clicks like this is my favorite shop ever like i could literally spend hours in here and not get bored i love coming here because there's all these sales as well so i know that i'm gonna get a budget deal out of anything here anyway the first place i'm gonna go to is to pick up my lip gloss i absolutely love this lip gloss with every fiber of my being this specific one the essence pretty in pink i use it every single day it's like the only thing that i use on my lips like i just cannot get enough of it like i highly recommend trying it if you're not tried it before i'm sure you're gonna love it the next aisle that i'm gonna go into is the skincare aisle this is like home to me i absolutely love skincare i love buying it i love using it but today i only need one thing i'm just here for my moisturizer i bought the cerave moisturizer last year and it lasted me up until this year like it lasted me for about six to eight months so i'm coming to get it again because i absolutely loved it it's extremely lightweight but it's hydrating on the skin as well and i like it when my skin doesn't feel like it has anything on me because sometimes my skin can get a little bit greasy and this is just absolutely perfect i'm also in need of a hair oil so i want to come and get my l but i know the chances of me getting it is like literally slim so i'm literally just crossing my fingers right now because i usually always get at rosebank and rosebank they always have stock so i'm just hoping for the best right now well unlucky me they don't have it they only have the edge control and i don't even want that so i'm just gonna have to make my own hair oil <laughs> so i'm gonna get these afri pure hair oils to make my own hair oil this was my second option if i didn't find the mile because i knew for a fact that i probably was not gonna get it because it's been blowing up all over social media so my chances are pretty slim so i'm just gonna pick up the avocado oil the jojoba oil as well as the peppermint oil peppermint does have similar benefits to rosemary anyway so this is gonna be a great option and cheaper because lucky for me they have this little special going on at click so i literally just spent 100 rand for these three oils are gonna last me quite a long time so i'm really happy with that lucky me next thing that i need is my feminine hygiene products now i use pads i don't use tampons or anything like that and i absolutely love kotex like kotex is the only brand that i've used ever since i started being a woman and i've stuck with it all these years specifically i love the maxi night ones but unfortunately for me they were out of stock i guess i'm not the only one that's in love with them so i'm just gonna take their regular ones and i also saw these biocare i'm not really sure what's going on here i don't i don't even want to know i feel like some things are just advertising or trying to greenwash things but anyway i also need a bunch of panty liners so i'm just gonna grab those as well now off to the next aisle and we're gonna go and pick up my antiperspirant i'm pretty sure i've used every single brand here but the only two brands that i'm absolutely in love with is one mitchum mitchum is really good at keeping me dry all day and keeping me smelling fresh all day i recently stopped using it because i needed something that was going to help with my hyperpigmentation scarring that i got from waxing and dove has been doing wonders for me it has really helped me so much especially because i don't want to use a lot of products under my armpits because it's a very sensitive area so having an antiperspirant that also evens out my armpits is really great i strongly recommend trying this I'm also going to check out some intimate washes. Apparently this Clicks brand is really, really good. I'm not really sure about that, but it is soap free and fragrance free. So I'm assuming that it should be good. Usually the one that I go for is Gynagod. I absolutely love Gynagod. It's also fragrance free and pH balancing. Really a favorite of mine, but I have it at home. So I'm not going to pick up this one. And let me tell you something real quick. This Clicks brand, specifically the ones that says it's for underarms and for your legs is the worst thing that you can ever use. Do not use this under your armpits because that's what gave me hyperpigmentation scarring if you are going to use wax strips i highly recommend using veet because veet has never done me dirty the way that those wax strips did me because now i've got this hyperpigmentation scarring that i have to deal with but if you don't want to use um, wax strips you can also use this no hair brand it's also a brand that i have at home and i use it all the time but i did notice that it did darken my underarms a little bit but overall i do recommend using this brand next is my favorite aisle body washes but i cannot get any single body wash that i see right now because i've got like five body washes at home that i have not used yet and my little self-care window is small like i'm running out of space and i still have not found like um, a rack that i want to use in my shower so that i can put all my products in so i have to wait until i find the one that i want but i'm also checking out dove because you know me i love dove and i'm seeing so many different body washes from dove and i'm so tempted to really get one especially this one i like the way that it smells it smells sweet inviting and just very calming and relaxing i really want to get it but i know that i can't because where am i supposed to put it like where will i put it and when will i even use it 
And here's an honorable mention to Oh So Heavenly. If you're on a budget and you want body washes that smell really good and make you have a very nice shower or bath experience, I highly recommend this brand. Their body washes smell really great and like there's a lot of different scents that you can pick from and they're extremely affordable and look at the size of that bottle. Like Clix always has a special of either getting three for two or you can get two of these for like 90 rand or 100 rand. So I really recommend trying these, especially these ones that I'm holding here, especially this one specifically. If you love a fresh and inviting scent, you have to try this one. The next hour is body lotions, though I can't get any because once again, I've got bottles at home that I've not opened yet. I'm just going to have a look-see, you know? I'm actually getting quite tempted to get this body oil because I've heard so many good things about it. But I just don't like the way that oil feels on my body. I hate the feeling of oil, so maybe not, no. Also, if you're looking for a brand of body lotions that are going to give you glowing, radiant skin and also help you with any pigmentation that you may have on your body, you need to try Nivea. Nivea released these two body lotions, which I think are absolutely amazing. One has 95% vitamin C and an SPF 15, which I think is great. Or you can also get any one of these. I remember so much that I used to love Nivea body lotions. I'm actually considering going back to using them because I have not used them in a while. And I like switching up my body lotions because my skin doesn't necessarily react to anything. So I'm going to try them. But usually this is the brand that I use. These are the bottles that I have at home that I have not used yet. Also heavenly. Like look at how huge these tubs are. I actually just remembered that I need new toothbrushes. So now I need to go to the oral care aisle and i don't necessarily see the toothbrush that i want like i want the one that has a really small head but i don't want an electric toothbrush and i don't i just want one and all of these toothbrushes come in like pairs or like there's three of them i just want one toothbrush i don't know why i can't find the one that i want and these ones all have like huge bristles on them but i just spotted this tongue cleaner which i'm going to get i wanted a metal tongue scraper but this one looks cute and it's pink so i just obviously have to get it I'm also in need of floss but I don't want the like separate floss stick looking thingies because I don't remember where I heard this from but I heard someone say that they don't necessarily help you clean your teeth properly it's better to get the floss that's like a string or something like that so that's the one that I'm gonna get I found a toothbrush that is somewhat what I wanted but I'm just gonna I like it's not what I want I'm just gonna get it because I still need a toothbrush anyway and also when it comes to toothbrush, I don't know why, but Aquafresh is such a slept on brand. Like this is the best brand of toothpaste ever. Like when I sometimes have sensitive teeth, every single time I brush my teeth with Aquafresh, like the sensitivity goes away. It's only when I shift brands that I can feel any type of skin sensitivity. So check out Aquafresh. And I actually found the toothbrushes that I wanted. They come in three, sadly, but I'm just going to take them because it's too late for changing right now. And I'm also going to try oil pulling. I... Usually I'm not the type to be influenced easily when it comes to self-care or anything hygiene. I like to do things research-based and I did try and find any research that backs that oil pulling works. I found a little bit of research but I'm just going to go off what people said. So I'm going to just try it because what's the harm in trying? Now that's everything that I need to get from Clicks. Hopefully I stuck to my budget but I have a very good feeling that I did. Okay so this is how much I actually ended up spending which is pretty good. I stuck to my budget guys. Clap hands for me. <laughs> I'm happy that I stuck to my budget, but, but, I'm going to try and go and find the Mayel at this camp. Maybe I'll be lucky enough. I'm going to reward myself for sticking to my budget by overspending on my budget. Yes, that makes absolute sense. <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. And I'm also going to give my tiny human some sweets because he was so well behaved as we were just going around shopping about. So I'm going to head to this camp to see if I can find the Mayel hair oil. Okay, this game is literally distracting me with a candle collection because these look so pretty. Like I can envision myself doing my self-care routine and lighting one of these. Like I'm so tempted to get one, but I know for a fact that I'm only going to use it like once or twice and I'm going to forget about it. Like I love candles a lot, but I just know that it's not going to be something that I'm going to consistently use. So I just feel like it's going to be a waste and I also don't necessarily like the environmental impact that candles do have. But maybe one day, maybe one day I'll be a candle girl. It's so interesting to see that this game has a wider range of body lotion options than they have at Clicks. Because I've never actually seen this one at Clicks. Maybe I don't look hard enough or I just like pass my eyes or something. But I've never seen all of these brands at Clicks. Maybe I should start visiting this game a little bit more often. 
So the Mayel Organics is also not here. They also have like this just one bottle of the Rosemary range, which I don't want. So it's official. Mayel is going to be absolutely hard to find in stores, but it is what it is. I already made my own little hair growth oil thing in my box, so it's okay. It's okay. I'm just going to see if there's anything else that I need when it comes to hair care, but I don't think so. I think I'm all good. I have to also quickly head into my surprise to get a satin pillowcase because my skin now acts up if I sleep on a regular pillowcase. I don't know why my skin is trying to be bougie all of a sudden, but it's okay. We'll deal with it. I'm honestly praying that they have it because I don't know which other shop has it because I checked online and Mr. Price is like the only one that I can actually go to that possibly has it. Yeah, I know that. I honestly couldn't be happy right now i spotted like i am so damn happy that mr price has it because i really needed this and i didn't know where else i was gonna get it and it's actually not that bad when it comes to price i thought it was gonna be a little bit more expensive but it's like only eight, 80 bucks so that's a good that's a good deal so i'm gonna definitely grab that and it also feels like decent quality so i'm really really happy that i actually got it here and I still stayed in budget. So in total, I spent about 902 Rand or something, which is pretty good. I got everything that I needed and wanted and I still stayed in budget. So now I'm going to reward myself by overspending. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to McDonald's. <laughs> okay, no, I just I also just need lunch because I'm hungry right now. So I'm just going to go to McDonald's because it's the only place that kind of like makes sense here. I don't want KFC or anything. So I'm just going to get McDonald's and yeah and that concludes today's video of coming hygiene shopping with me i really hope that you enjoyed this video as much as i actually enjoyed shooting and filming it and i'll see you guys in my next video bye